Um, for me, I see it as being interested in other things that are outside of our locality in order to help teachers and students be able to access that. So it's, to me, it's sort of a guide. Um, that's the idea that I feel, but that's the role that I feel that when I went back to my school that I needed to play. Um, I believe, I see it as kind of what I expect of my students to be open and curious about, about different aspects of the world and different cultures. Um, and being able to learn those, and once you're open and curious, I feel like you can, you're opening yourself up to learn about um, different, different people and, and different perspectives, and then be able to apply it to your own life. Spanish and um, I think it's important because there usually is a lot of preconceived notions about other parts of the world and that their experiences are somehow different and foreign from the way we have it here in the United States but I find a lot of times there really is a very base level of things that are very universal. And in my class I you know I teach a global studies elective so that's pretty very straightforward but I also teach math and math is often one of the subjects that it's like well how can this be applicable to this topic um, and it is difficult in math um, to to incorporate global education I think it is not as organic as some other topics um, subject areas but I do think that um, there are some topics in mathematics that um, you can really pull in a real world current event and then make and, and pull in a mathematical topic and make then make more math more relevant to, to a current event. I try not to go into a too much expectation. I just knew I was going to um, I, I was hoping that from it I would become a better global be more aware globally when I go into the education field. When I go into my classroom, I'll have some more resources and, and be, um, and just be more aware and, and have some more knowledge. Yeah, I think being more well informed about topics that, that we feel that we should be experts in the field before we teach it to the, um, the kids where I think the program really did help it show that you can sort of let that fear go and learn and let your students see that you're still learning as well. I would say to talk about culture, um, a lot of, of what, you know, relating culture in different ways and ways I've never thought about it before, but also just the variety of topics we covered and by these professors that, um, you know, students pay a very high sum of money <laughs> to get an education from yeah. and we were able to experience their, their presentations. I thought that was yeah. great. And, and you get to hear a different perspective than what you hear on the news or what you can sort of find out from your own studies. So it's nice to have that other teacher who is more of an expert in that field than I am or can bring something new to something I already know a lot about. So it was very nice. I used a lot of the different videos and resources that were provided, especially the ones around the, the culture piece that was very applicable to my um, global studies class and it, it went really well. With, with my high school age students. Um, and also I feel kind of inspired me to start working with other disciplines. And since we've worked with a lot of different disciplines in our program, I think it inspired me to work with different disciplines in my, in my school. I, it really um, made me reconsider how um, I would approach certain topics. Um, and how it would be good to not always sort of approach them in the same way, so to vary up um, the way I present things, in which then led me to um, incorporate more technology. So I've developed some cultural lessons 
and um, the students are using the QR codes to find out information and um, they like those type of things so and it's not that hard really it's not that hard to learn so I know there's usually well I don't have time or you can google it after attending um, the conference that I began really seriously looking at getting uh, my global educator badge um, so which I think it just makes me feel even though there's not currently any quote unquote benefit for it I think it gives me more the confidence of seeing and being able to prove to the administration that I'm still staying current um, I am preparing our students for all of those 21st century skills that the administration, the state, wants us to wants us to be incorporating into our lessons. So. Um, kind of piggybacking what I spoke about before, working with uh, different teachers in, in different disciplines, um, I'm looking forward to working with one of our. Um, foods teachers and she is kind of, her students are going to prepare the food and my students are going to research the, um, the spices and the different origins and why these different regions cook these type of foods. So I'm really excited about that, especially since my kids are really food motivated, <laughs> I have found. Um, so I know they're really <laughs> excited about that. Um, another thing, I'm working with a computer art teacher to create, once we get to kind of our um, global issues portion of the course, to work with her class to create um, something that kind of makes a statement through through art about a certain global issue. So I'm really excited about that. And also working with Kathy Spencer and, and Worldview, she's gonna try to get my students kind of linked up with IBM and see what different, last time we spoke, we kind of bounce ideas and see how different programs they do as far as um, working with, working globally and, and specifically programs that help um, some service learning and I, I would say don't be afraid of not knowing something. Yes. Um, yes. A lot of times <laughs> teachers are supposed to know everything and like I mentioned before, I think the students learn more when we show, well, you know, I don't know that. Let's find out that information or why don't you find out that information and then report back to us what you found mm -hmm. and having different students. And learning with those do, students. Yeah, and do those type of things. Also that, you know, there's a starting point and, you know, you just start. Not every lesson has to be globally inspired and you start doing that and then you, you know, the next unit you might add another one and they just, once you start kind of rolling and you you, you learn information, you yeah. see it's, it gets, I think, I feel like it gets easier as you go. Yeah.